In this screencast, we're going to calculate the forces in their location for a partially submerged gate. In part one, we discussed the various aspects that are listed here that we have to take into account. And here we're going to do the calculations to determine the numerical values of FR, its location, and then the tension in the cable that holds the gate up. So the idea is that we have some tension connecting the cable like so. Let's look at some notation. Theta will be this angle to the horizontal. We're going to use y as our variable along the gate distance. So y is 0 here and y is equal to a1 here. And h is the depth into the water, so h is equal to zero here. So the pressure at any point under the water is rho g h. Remember, we're ignoring the pressure due to air since it's on both sides of the gate. And we can write that as rho g y sine of theta from trigonometry, namely distance y, distance h, angle theta. So what we're going to do to calculate this force is integrate the pressure over the area of the gate, which means we're integrating rho g sine theta, they're all constants, and then y, area of the gate will be the depth of the gate, which we're going to use as b, times dy. So that's the differential area. And so I have all these as constants. And so this is integrating from y equals 0 to a1. So I just y squared over 2 evaluated between 0 and a1. And so we end up with that the force on the gate is just rho g b sine theta a1 squared over 2. So that's the resultant force. So what we want to do is calculate the location of this force. Okay, this is fr. And it's at some location yr. And the force needs to be located so that the moment it exerts the same as the cumulative moment of the pressures at the different points. So what we're going to say is that the force, FR, times the distance that it is from the hinge, which is A1 minus YR. That's this distance right here. And that's going to be the integrated value, rho GH, times the moment arm, A1Y, for any value of Y, Again, integrated over the area. So now I'm going to substitute in values. So on the left side, I just substitute it, the FR that we just calculated. The right side, rho and G are constants. H is Y sine theta. And then the area DA is the depth and DY. And so I can now cancel out terms that or in both sides of the equation that are constants. And then I can do this integration. So here's the results of the integration. I'm going to evaluate it between these limits, which means the right side just becomes a1 cubed over 2 minus a1 cubed over 3. And with the common denominator, this becomes 3a1 cubed minus 2a1 cubed over 6. I'll, now let me simplify this. And I can see that we cancel two of the A1 values. So I can rearrange and solve for this distance A1 minus R. It's just 2A1 over 6 or A1 over 3. So this distance is a1 over 3. So to calculate the tension in the cable, what I'm going to do is, is say the sum of the moments 
around the hinge, hinge is here, equals zero because it's not moving. And that's going to be zero is equal to the force FR times the distance A1 over 3. That's clockwise, so that's positive. And then the weight of the gate, which is at the center of the gate. So the weight is at the center, which is A2 over 2. But we need the distance of the force. Essentially, you need this distance here, which is A2 divided by 2 and then multiplied by the cosine of theta. And then the tension's in counterclockwise, so minus sign, the tension, and the distance, A2 times sine of theta, to get the distance. And so now, the distance that we're talking about between the tension and the hinge is this distance here. This is A2 sine theta. And so I can simplify and solve for the tension. This equation then gives me the tension to prevent the gate from opening due to the force of the water and the weight of the gate.